Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to be doing a full hands-on review of the iPhone 8. Let's get started. So to kick things off, let's talk about the specs starting with the cameras. The rear-facing camera is an all-new sensor and it features 4K at 60fps, 4K at 30fps, and 4K at 24fps. Yes, 24. It actually does look really cinematical though. Also, the front-facing camera, aka FaceTime camera, is a 7 megapixel sensor and it can record at 1080p. The iPhone 8 series is also the first time in a very long time we have seen an upgrade to charging capabilities. It, it supports fast charging at 3.1 amps and it also supports wireless charging. I do not have a wireless charger but basically you would just set the phone on a wireless charging pad and it would start charging. Now let's talk about internal specs. The iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and X, in fact, are running the A11 Bionic chip, which is much faster than previous chips and has much higher Geekbench scores. Also, iOS 12 helps with the extra speed of that processor. It, the iPhone 8 has 2 gigabytes of RAM, the 8 Plus has 3 gigabytes of RAM, and they, the iPhone 8 has a 1,821 milliamp hour battery, and the 8 Plus has a 2,675 milliamp hour battery. And just like the iPhone 7 series, what do you know? There's no headphone jack. And as you may notice, the back of the iPhone 8 is very reflective compared to the previous models. That is because to support the wireless charging, it actually has to have a glass back, meaning it will scratch much easier. And as you can see, you can already see handprints for just from filming this video. It does hands, it does smudge very, very easily, but it's also much easier to break. So definitely get a case on your iPhone 8. And just like the iPhone 7, the home button on the iPhone 8 is actually fake as well and just has that artificial vibrating sound when you push it to make it feel real. Now the last thing I wanted to talk about is speed. As you can see, apps that are already open load extremely fast, meaning because they are already open. That means the RAM management is much better on the iPhone 8, and that has to do with the processor as well. But then going into apps that aren't already open, it still loads very fast compared to my old phone at least. But see how fast this is loading. So the speed is incredible. Battery life is pretty good so far. The camera is incredible. So this is everything you need to know about the iPhone 8. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can keep seeing more videos like these. And go ahead and drop a like if you're feeling like being extra awesome. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.